I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. Two Port Orange men are hurt after a plane crash at Spruce Creek Fly-In in Volusia County. The plane had taken off from Flagler Executive Airport after those on board ate at hijackers. As it was touching down in Volusia County, its landing gear broke and it slid off the runway. The plane then flipped and burst into flames. Witnesses ran over with fire extinguishers to help quell the flames before the fire department arrived. The pilot, identified as John Wilson, was critically hurt and had to be airlifted to Orlando Regional Medical Center. Passenger Mike Simmons suffered less severe injuries and was taken by ambulance to Halifax Health. This portion of WNZF Local News, a service of the Daytona Beach International Airport. Fly to the Big Apple in a New York Minute on JetBlue from the Daytona Beach International Airport. A young man with a long history of arrests and felony convictions eludes police after a traffic stop, Tony Magoo reports. 21-year-old Rico Ransom wasn't a happy man when he saw the blue lights in his rearview mirror as he drove a stolen car on Palm Coast Parkway last Thursday night. At his young age, Ransom has a long history of arrests and felony convictions, including a conviction for grand theft auto two years ago and an armed carjacking three years ago. Ransom was out on bond when a Flagler County Sheriff's deputy lit him up for an obstructed license plate and a cracked taillight. The deputy soon learned that the plate was stolen and so was the Honda. During the pursuit, the vehicle crashed into the woods at US-1 and Palm Coast Parkway. Ransom eluded police that night. If you have any information on the location of Rico Ransom Jr., please contact the Sheriff's Office, 313-4911, or call Crime Stoppers at 888-277-TIPS. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Tony Magoo. Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley says their 4th of July safety campaign has delivered results. John Arking has them. Patrol squads had an increased countywide presence and DUI enforcement from June 29th through July 4th in Palm Coast, Bunnell, and Flagler Beach. And Staley says it seems to have paid off. For the most part, it went very well overall. We had no traffic fatalities, so that's always a good sign. We did make 44 arrests over the period of the holiday, three of those for DUI, so we had a few people that didn't listen to don't drink and drive. And uh, I know we stopped uh, nine boats with our new marine unit on the intercoastal and uh, gave eight warnings and one citation. So overall, I would say it was good. Also making their first security deployment was the Sheriff's Mounted Posse to assist with security during the Palm Coast Fireworks in the Park event. Founded 30 years ago by retired Deputy Kathy Weeks, that organization strives to serve the community through search and rescue efforts and assistance with various community events. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arking. A beach renourishment project in Flagler Beach that had been scrapped due to a lack of funding is now back on the table. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers approved the funding for the project that had been being considered since well before Hurricanes Matthew and Irma. Flagler Beach City Manager Larry Newsom. So now because of hurricanes, we're now potentially we're going to get the money, but it's mainly because of disaster relief or, or whatever term you want to use. So that's a big positive, and it's going to go in that 2.5 miles a section. If you remember that, that 2.5 miles was actually where the road was out. So the Corps was absolutely correct in saying that roadway and that beach, that area was critical. The county is spearheading recovery efforts. No word yet on a timetable. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.